My name's Ayo and I'm a civil engineer working on the maintenance of assets in the Thames Estuary. We're here today at the marvellous Crossness Pumping Station in London, a Grade 1 listed building that features some of the most spectacular ornamental cast ironwork found in the world today. But it's the infrastructure under our feet and the difference it's made to successive generations of Londoners that places us at the centre of the biggest and most compelling story in the history of civil engineering one whose legacy is still felt today. This year marks 200 years since the birth of Joseph Bazalgette, one of the world's most famous civil engineers. The Crossness Pumping Station is now an exhibition centre open to the public. Joseph Bazalgette was born in 1819 and he began his career as a railway engineer. During this period, he spent lots of time devising methods for land drainage. This would give him great experience of fluid mechanics and this would equip him for the task he went on to face. Let's hear more about him from his great-great-grandson, Peter. The challenge that he had to overcome in 19th century London was all because of the humble water closet, the WC. Everybody started putting them in their houses in the 1830s. So people's effluent, people's excrement was flowing directly into the waterways for the first time of London, into the rivers and then into the River Thames. This inefficient system contributed to outbreaks of cholera and other diseases. In the summer of 1858, an overwhelming stench began to radiate from the River Thames, made worse by the scorching heat wave. This is now known as the Great Stink. Eventually, the smell reached Parliament and MPs decided they had to take action. Because of his great achievements, my great-great-grandfather, Joseph William Bazalgette, was knighted, became Sir Joseph Bazalgette. He didn't just build the sewage system that cured London of disease, of cholera, he also designed the embankments along the river, which his sewers went into, but also the district line. He built bridges across the river. He laid out parks. He laid out new roads. In other words, he made London the city it is today. Bazalgette was instrumental in transforming London into the city we now know. What a legacy. But as the population grows, there's a need to ensure our system meets new requirements. After all, he designed his sewage network for 4.5 million people and today it caters to 9 million people and has reached its capacity. As a result of this, millions of tonnes of raw sewage spills untreated into the River Thames each year. So, how are civil engineers building on the work of Bazalgette to solve the problems in the present day? One key project is the Thames Tideway Tunnel a 25-kilometre super sewer that runs under the River Thames from West London to East London. It's a £4.2 billion infrastructure project. It starts in Acton in the west, uh, where it's 30 metres deep, and it falls at about 1 in 800 down to Abbey Mills in the east, where it's 66 metres deep. Projects such as Thames Tyre offer huge opportunities to boost skills in engineering, for example, through apprenticeships which offer young people an excellent route to a career in the sector. We have a target for ourselves as Tideway, the client, and also for our contractors building the project, that one in 50 people on the project at any one time must be an apprentice. And that means over the life of the project that 250 to 400 new apprentices will be formed. Training more apprentices is so important, and the government of the day has accepted that doing so is vital to our country's economy and productivity. But they were just as valuable in Basel Jet State too. In fact, Bazalgette was one of the first civil engineers to take them on and at one point had six pupils in his office. As Bazalgette himself knew, the future of civil engineering relies on building new talent that will ultimately help to overcome huge challenges. And the present challenges, such as climate change, are pretty complex. Civil engineers are responsible for coming up with solutions to some of the world's biggest problems. Therefore, the more people are trained to do the job, the better. We've come a long way since Joseph Bazalgette's birth 200 years ago, and civil engineers continue to play a vital role in building a sustainable world. The anniversary of Joseph Bazalgette's birth gives us an opportunity to recognise the important work they do. So let's celebrate this great engineer, unknown to many, but respected by his peers, for undertaking engineering work on an unprecedented scale in, at the time, the largest city the world had ever known. So join me and follow in Bazalgette's footsteps. for the most exciting job in the world.